Hey everybody, it's Ms. Dietrich, and we're going to explore why the formula for area of a parallelogram is the same as it is for area of a rectangle, which some people find confusing. We're going to use the parallelogram that we see here on the, on the board or on the display, and let's talk about its dimensions. The base is 2, 1, 2, and the height of this is 5. Now remember, the height has to be perpendicular to the base, meaning that it forms a right angle, so let's see why it's 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, you know that 2 times 5 is 10, but do you see that there's really 10 square units in here? It's a little bit hard to tell. So there's going to be an animation here which will show you a sliding over of a triangle. So I think you're going to see this triangle right here slide over into this position, filling in this gap, and you'll see it form a rectangle, which will also have an area of 10, which is basically the same area. So watch carefully. Watch it slide over. All right, and then they're going to count the individual square units so that you can see that it has an area of 10 square units. All right, let's do another one just to make sure you understand. How about a base of 3 this time? And let's have the height be 6. Now, you know that 3 times 6 is 18. There's 18 square units contained within this parallelogram. Let's watch. They're going to show this piece over here slide over, and it's probably going to go right here. Watch carefully so that you can see how it forms a rectangle with the same two shapes. So basically what we really have here is we have two triangles that slide together to form a rectangle. And you might even know that two triangles um, does equal one rectangle. Let's take a look. And now they're going to count it up for you so that you can see 18 square units. Eighteen. Alright, so the key is basically to understand that if you're going to find the area of a parallelogram, you have to multiply the base times the height. So in this case, it would be 7 times 10, which is 70. Or let's do a simple one again. 2 times 4, that would be 8. So if we take a look at how they slide it together to form the rectangle, helps you to understand why the formula is what it is. I hope you found this helpful.